Okay, hi, I'm Steve. I'm gonna do a quick walk around and a little bit about the features in this 2011 135i. So here's a quick look at the car. I got it uh, by the freeway, so it's a little windy here. We're in San Diego. Close look. Let's do the engine start. As you can see, the regular screen comes up all normal. The mileage on the dash here. Okay, now a couple cool features that I wanna draw attention to. Um, some modifications that have been made in this car. <clears throat> First, you notice that Apple CarPlay is on here. And so how that's being done is I have something called a Bimertech MMI module, which is basically a retrofit for the existing infotainment system. Um, and in addition to adding Apple CarPlay, it adds forward and reverse cameras to the existing sensors so you can see when I go in reverse that my original sensors in the lines um, so I can back up and then the sensors exist and then also <clears throat> a front camera exists as well so when you're parking the car you can have the opportunity to see at a ground level you know where the car sits so you don't you know mess up the bumper lips so that's a little bit about the cool mmi infotainment system um all the factory controls as well as the iDrive um work so you can get apple carplay it's all wireless and then a last little feature here is i have i have this set up so you could set the phone in here but there's also a wireless charging pad that's been installed here in the car so you could see now that's down there charging so that all comes with the car. That's all built in. It's not going anywhere. All right, let's take a drive. And I got a lot of seagulls out here, so we got to get out of here quick. Otherwise, I'm going to be cleaning poop up. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this car from, uh, from a sidestep, and we're going to put it in sport mode. Now, we have, um, we have a couple performance tunes on here, an XHP transmission tune. Um, a stage three um, wedge performance custom tune all running MHD and everything's tied together well in the car it just runs all the time so there's nothing that you need to change about it but let's just give you an idea of what it's like from a standstill we're gonna get on it a little bit safely here on the freeway really good currently running Michelin pilot sports um, the tune is tried and true we've gone through rounds of it to get it where it is now it's extremely efficient you can run an e30 mix on it I have it just on straight pump gas 91 right now um, the car is solid you hear it rev a little bit you'll hear it kind of blow off and you just have all that <clears throat> torque right for such a small car to get it up to 100 miles an hour is just like butter so the idea of what I was building here was um, there's a car that you could take out you could drive all the way out to the track no matter where it was have fun at the track all day long and then drive it home without getting any kind of codes or issues or problems on your car and that's truly what we've got built here so the infotainment system having Apple CarPlay on it gives you a nice refresh and update to kind of an outdated system but to toggle back to it you literally just hold down uh, the menu button and that'll bring you back into the regular BMW screen uh, where you can get access to of course all the vehicle in phone settings and you know the, <clears throat> the 
OEM navigation system. Get a vehicle status here. Ooh, looks like he's a bit of what? And then, of course, if you want to get back into um, the MMI, you just hold down the menu button and it'll bring you back into the MMI screen. You pop back out here into the apps. You'll also notice in the MMI Prime screen, once you get out of Apple CarPlay, that you have access to, of course, Android Auto, a direct connection to USB. You can even do screen mirroring. So if you're running, uh, if you're running MHD or you're running live <coughs> uh, data logging on the car, you can do it right on the screen, which is kind of nice to have. Or we'll run it from this mount, which I'm going to leave in the car. It's going to be so. Good. Um, so it's kind of a nice addition to the settings. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll be quiet so you can hear a little bit of the drive. This is the drive on the freeway. Smooth, it's a tight feeling car. It's got that hydraulic steering. The, the shift tune makes the shifting just so crisp. Um, it's going to be a fun car. You're going to love it. Listeners, thank you for your support. Thank you for your downloads. Thank All right, now here's a drive with the windows down. You can hear the engine a little bit better. Sports stock OEM exhaust with a Wagner Catalyst downpipe. So it gives you a little bit more throatiness um, in the exhaust, but it's not super loud to like where you know it's going to draw attention from a police officer or you know piss off your neighbors or something like that. So I think it's just the right amount of decibels to get the feeling that you want when you're driving the car. 